Good afternoon, this is G from G's Loft. A little feeding time for the birds. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, go in. Go in. Come on, in. 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 Come on. Get ready. Nice and shiny. Got some babies. Now let's teach. I mentioned in my other videos. There's babies here. Today we got eggs already. Second, third round. Got some babies in here as well. They get fed in the morning. Not as much as they get fed now, but everybody's content. Here, can you white birds, reds, getting chased in the hen. Can you white cock, with the walk in the hen. That baby there was born without a back toe, so his leg got a little deformed. But, see what happens, I don't know. Beautiful thing watching the birds eat. I enjoy it very much. Let's go see the other guys. It's snowed over here a little bit. Not much. Tomorrow's gonna rain, so it's gonna clear it all up. I'm guessing. Bird coop. These guys are eating over here. These are all cocks. These are mostly Kenny White birds. getting chased and these are her two babies the grandson to the freaks she's about to go on her third round she should have eggs tonight tomorrow morning they're white Here are Kenny Whites. A lot of birds. For all the boxes I have, there's mostly empty boxes. A white hen made her third round. Late this morning. Got a pair of chocolate cock from the bluff one. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Slowly but slowly. Let me just move this one. 
one in here, the chocolate. The sister was the, the one that was born without a back toe. And I moved over that grizzle back there. Like I told you guys before, my feet on the floor. Come on, come on, come on. My feet on the floor. This is how I always fed. Never had a problem with the bacteria, canker. Here and there, I will have a pigeon that will come down with canker, but it will never be from this coop. It would always be from when they're younger because of all the stress or whatnot. Never, I mean, knock on wood, you know, but never did I have a pigeon come down sick from being in here. Never did it happen. Not yet. I'm not saying that it won't. It's not yet. cage or I guess some new birds I put them in there I really don't quarantine I put birds in here before you know when they sick so the droppings can just go to the floor but sometimes hawk will get right to them finish them off but it is what it is I guess this is it are looking good. Uh, I got some babies in here too. This is the brother to the Hoosier one. That's his mate. Right there. Daughter of the freak. That fan rate 100% from the best of the, the best from Franks. This is the guy right here. That's the guy right there. That's him. It's a Kenny White hen. That's the two other babies over there. That's these babies. And his. Yeah. And again, I got four pairs to 12 boxes. You know, I'd rather have more boxes to less pairs than the pen. Like, I could have easily taken these four pairs and stuffed them right in here. I probably have. Seven, seven pairs. I got sixteen boxes. They put, they nest up there as well. And then I got one, two, three, four. They like the floor. They like the floor in the corner over there. So I got eight pairs the most. I could have easily grabbed those four pairs and put them in here and dealt with one feet and one water but i like the birds to have their space they be relaxed they don't have to fight as much they don't have to dominate as much the boxes they can relax more they can think about feeding the babies and i'm hoping for the best with them but and that is that. And again, like my my first the first uh, section over there, I only have six pairs. I think I have twenty something boxes. Alright man, 
This is Jay from Jay's Loft from the Boston Brain Tree Club, Massachusetts. Um, like, subscribe. The video will, will keep coming. It's gonna be a lot more of different things. I will be doing some interviews of top flyers in the area and just doing the hobby as well. Love the sport, love for what it is. I've been in it since a little kid, 35 years old today. It's hard, you know, got a family and all that stuff, gotta work. But I'd rather be doing this than being in the bar. That's how I look at life, I guess. Jeez, loft. Like, subscribe. Thank you guys for the little support that I have so far. I appreciate every one of y'all. Thank you.